I decided to join the group uh, after Pemina approached us and told us they were putting in a pipeline and uh, there was uh, several misleading issues that the landman uh, told us. Uh, so we went to a, a information meeting with the Grassroots Association in Morinville and I found out that uh, we have a lot more rights and uh, there's a lot of more room for negotiation than what was indicated to us by the landman. So that's why we thought if we could negotiate as a group, uh, we could probably uh, achieve a better um, deal for each of the landowners. The main concern is the integrity of the land and uh, the uh, biosecurity. The um, people that I'm the only person uh, in the Grassroots Association on this line that uh, didn't have Alliance put a pipeline across my land. Uh, the people that had Alliance pipeline are still having problems with it and that was in the year 2000. There was very few controls in place and a very shoddy job was done of the pipeline. So we got, got together to try and make sure that that didn't happen in this case. We're asking basically for a uh, uh, a secure biosecurity plan to avoid transferring weeds and diseases from other fields to our field, uh, comprehensive uh, reclamation uh, or construction and reclamation uh, plan in place so that the land uh, is back to the same situation that it was in when it started and we're asking for a construction monitor that works for the landowners uh, to, to over, not to oversee but to observe the construction process and the biosecurity process and the reclamation process to ensure that it's done according to protocol.